Hi guys, welcome to another Touch of Film. Um, yeah guys, this is a really special unboxing and review here. Um, a few months ago, there was a few releases, well, when I say a few months, maybe about six months ago, there was a few releases that came out from a company called M-Life. Um, it was Bride with the White Hair. Um, it's a classic 80s, or was it early 90s Hong Kong film? with Bridget Lin um, and I really wanted to get this release now there was only two sites that could, you could get it from one was an eBay seller and one was uh, another company that wasn't really reputable I mean there was no one really selling these uh, releases um, so a few people on the blu-ray forums were saying oh I'm gonna get this I'm gonna get this so I really waited to see what was going to happen from these releases um, and a few people ordered them and when they got their releases they were smashed that they were absolutely ruined in the delivery process now I was like I was really scared off getting anything from M Life I was asking people on the forums people that do um, group buys on there I was saying is anyone going to group buy stuff from M Life um, no one was like doing it um, because they are a Chinese company so you know you're stuck there um, I was going through Instagram quite recently just before Christmas time um, and I found this company that's doing M Life group buys now they go by this name they are Media Psychos uh, it's a forum online um, but they're a group of Blu-ray collectors that love collecting Blu-rays uh, limited editions uh, their website is www.mediapsychos.com and I was started asking a few questions and you know I was interested so I said okay I'm gonna bite the bullet and get uh, an M Life release, something that was just coming out um, recently. Now, this is I paid for this release, so they didn't give it to me for free, so I can plug them. Um, but I am really happy with their service. Um, it's their membership card, which they do. Yeah, I was chatting to all these collectors on there, and they were able to secure me this this is the brotherhood of the blades box set um, something I've been really looking forward to getting it is super limited to only 360 copies a um, hundred of these copies have signed um, with just autographs by uh, Lu Yang who is the director of both of these movies he's a young director I think he's like 36 or 37 years old um, yeah, these are fantastic Wu Xia films um, starring Chang Chen. Uh, Chang Chen, if you're new to Western, uh, new to Asian cinema, he was in oh, The Grandmaster, A Bright Summer's Day, uh, Happy Together, uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. He's one of the top Taiwanese actors, he's just absolutely amazing. And this is a martial arts movie, um, sort of a period movie, but more action based. I, I would classify it to like a modern day Shaw Brothers type film. Um, Chen Chen in the first one plays an imperial assassin who is like part of like the secret police uh, working for the emperor of uh, China. Or the king of China, really, and in the first one, um, this this like head eunuch um, who was a chief advisor for the, uh, the royalty, um, he gained too much power and has been ousted out of power. Now, him and his followers are all wanted by the imperial assassins. Uh, the eunuch is a real person in in history uh, called uh, Wei Xiong Shen. Um, it was a very powerful guy um, with like very violent followers 
Um, so Chang Chen is entrusted to capture uh, Wei Xiong Chen. Um, so the whole movie is really about the capturing of this guy. Um, and within that, there is a lot of background politics, a lot of people who have different agendas, um, some on the side of the eunuchs and some on the side of the uh, the power ruling China at the time, as well as people that are only looking after their own interests. Um, yet, yeah, it is a fantastic movie. I, f I think it's 2014 it came out. Um, quite a recent movie an absolutely stunning film it is absolutely gorgeous with great cinematography um, and just a, a modern great action masterpiece uh, the second one came out last year Brotherhood of the Blades 2 also directed by Liu Yang and stars uh, Chang Chen again and this time it's more of a pre it is a prequel um, Chang Chen's character he's a collector of art um, by a artist uh, Bei Zhai uh, who is sort of like and at the time um, the eunuch uh, Wei Zhongzhen is sort of more in power now um, he's um, he feels threatened by this artist and asks to have the uh, uh, Chang Chen at the time is also in the um, sort of like the military police type thing not as powerful as the Imperial Assassins in the first movie but he's like very uh, very well feared in in this movie um, so he's entrusted to uh, kill uh, by Bei Zhai who at the time is causing a lot of problems for uh, Wei Zhongxian but at the same time he's a collector of this artist's work so when going to kill uh, the artist he finds out that it's a woman and stops her from being murdered and raped um, so the film um, really has a lot of politics again involved in this film but um, probably a bit more complicated than the first movie but it is absolutely non-stop action and I think the cinematography in the second one is better than the first one there is one scene which is a uh, got sort of like green screen which is too obvious in it um, but other than that it is absolutely fantastic and gorgeous throughout the whole film um, I know a few people have said it's one of the top films of last year I probably would agree it is one of the best films of last year um, I didn't really get a chance to see it till after my top 2007 uh, top 20 movies of 2017 it probably would have made the top 20 um, yeah it is an absolute fantastic movie uh, Chang Chen is phenomenal in both movies uh, but in the second one he's a little bit more involved in the politics going on um, in the power struggle really but yeah guys let's unbox this because this is an absolute beast and let's check out what's inside so yeah guys here it is um, you have this gold embossing there everything's got this like sort of textured stripe effect now here there's all the special features with the there you can see uh, it's number 164 or 360 Dolby Atmos Dolby Digital there's the M Life logo just there it is region free there's both movies. Again with the gold. The side as well. And the back is there. So there is so much in this beast. Okay, let's take that away. Let's start with the first film. Here's the first film with Chang Chen on the cover there. Ah, there you got. There you got. Director approved artwork. There. There's a shot there. 
illustration. And there's the discard work. We change him there in full color. Really nice detail on that. Then you have second disc, second movie. Clarity on there. There's a really nice fight scene done in a bamboo forest, which probably is up there with um, House of Flying Daggers uh, bamboo forest fight. And you have. Let me just try and see which one's which. Yeah, here's the book for the first movie. It's a photo book. Um, of images from the movie a little bit right in there so it's not English friendly but it has got very little uh, text in there so not a real big issue and the book for the second movie it's got more writing in there again more of a photo but with stills of the movie, like some weapon design, costume design, and some sort of storyboarding there. And then I think this is what is this? Is this a script? I think it is a script there, but yeah, it's all in. Uh, I think it's in Mandarin. I'm not too sure if that's Mandarin or not. But yeah, guys, that is my unboxing. Um, again, here's a closer look at that membership card from Media Psychos. I really recommend them, guys. If you are, if you do collect special editions, they're a company to really look out for. Um, they can get you pretty much anything that's rare and everyone up there is just they're collectors and they're really cool and they're really caring so yeah guys uh, thanks for watching thank you to media psychos for uh, getting me able to purchase this because if it wasn't for them I probably would have been jealous of anyone that puts this on Instagram so yeah guys thanks for watching and I'll uh, please comment below please hit like click like uh, subscribe um, please subscribe guys yeah um, you know I've got more videos coming up this week until then guys take it easy and see you soon bye guys